From the problem solvers, some call it Frankenfish, a new genetically engineered salmon that could soon land on your dinner table. For the first time, the FDA is looking at approving a genetically modified meat. K2 problem solver Kerry Tomlinson shows us the controversy and how you might end up eating the new super fish without even knowing it. We are having salmon for dinner tonight. This is a regular salmon. Imagine your fish supersized, growing twice as fast as the regular fish. A company called Aqua Bounty created this new genetically engineered fish. They started with a regular Atlantic salmon. They added to that DNA from a Chinook salmon. And on top of that, they inserted DNA from a deep sea eel fish. And all of that equals the new fish. The new DNA changes the hormones in the Atlantic salmon, making it grow quickly. These are the results. A one-year-old regular salmon versus a super salmon of the same age. More meat, more money. I think that a lot of people will probably try it. Scott Dahlman with Oregonians for Food and Shelter in Salem says the superfish is safe to eat and highly regulated by the FDA. There will be a lot of curiosity about it to start out with, but if it meets the needs for people, if they're able to get what they want at a price that they want and it's got the taste and the characteristics that they want, I think it will really take off. Our position is that this is uh, a dangerous um, you know, and, and irresponsible uh, idea. George Kimbrell with the Center for Food Safety in Portland believes the FDA is not doing a thorough enough job to make sure this scientific experiment is safe to eat and to let loose on the world. Critics say 15% of farmed salmon escape. They believe the super salmon could get out and cause damage. Like something out of Jurassic Park, some think the genetically engineered salmon will eat voraciously to keep up with their own growth, interbreed with other fish, and weaken and destroy salmon in the wild. Jobs and fish could disappear. People don't want this fish. It has no redeeming social value. Um, as we've said, it creates only risk. But supporters say Aqua Bounty is farming the fish securely, harvesting eggs on an island in Canada flying them to landlocked tanks in Panama. If they do escape somehow, supporters say the fish will be all female and sterile, so they can't breed. I mean, this is really just a new way to farm salmon, which is something that we've actually been doing for years. It's just a new species of fish that some of these farmers might be using. The FDA may soon approve this fish. Now, whether you think it is a super salmon or a frankenfish, either way, you might not actually know when you're eating it. That's because the FDA will not require a label saying it is genetically engineered or GE. But there's no requirement by the FDA because the FDA says that these things are not materially different. You can see here... George Kimbrell says many other countries require GE labels, and he thinks Oregon and the entire U.S. should as well, especially for a creature he sees as a danger to humans, fish, and jobs. People have a right to know um, if this is going to be approved, and we think it shouldn't be, but if it is, it needs to be labeled. Now you can tell the FDA your thoughts about the GE salmon, pro or con. You have about six weeks to get your comment in for the website and go to k2.com. Click on the Inside K2 tab. And of course, we already eat some GE plant foods now. We do. For example, corn, sugar beets, soybeans. These have been genetically rather modified. This would be the first time, however, for a meat. It changed the game in a big way, wouldn't it? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. That's right, folks. Uh, genetically altered salmon is and will be arriving by summer 2013. No, you will not know what you're eating. The alphabet soup of corruption and lies. The USDA and FDA are owned and operated by former executives of Monsanto. One thing this article does not state, these fish are going to be in fish farms that are landlocked what type of pellets will they be fed the f the feed itself is what makes this fish get so large for first and foremost never mind if they go in the wild how they're going to destroy the ecosystem this fish here is going to be eating genetically altered pellets you guessed it 
by a certain company that it has your best interest at heart to kill you. I'm going to post all the links below. I thank you for watching.